Oh wow, this is a competition that started, I think this is the third season because it was uh, interrupted by the pandemic anyway, but this is the season number three for it. And uh, it's been a fantastic event uh, anchored by Mind Games Incorporated. Uh, it's just fashioned after the Football League uh, all over the world. This is the first of its kind all over the world, first Scrabble League that you can have in any country all over the world because, you know, Nigeria is the best Scrabble playing nation in the world at the moment. And this league is supposed to gather the best of the best to f get into teams and clubs and also be able to own the skills and strategies together. We're going to have five match days. Um, match day one was in Lagos, match day two is here in uh, Abuja. Match day three we hold in Benin City and then match day four and match day five we hold in Lagos again and that, that will be a gala event to be the end of the league for that season. That will, probably, that will take place in October. And um, for, for me as Vice President, one of the focal points of, of our board led by President Tokiaka, Chief Tokiaka, is for us to concentrate more on the children, S grow school scrabble, grow elementary scrabble, primary school, secondary school, uh, tertiary institution. You see that um, on this last Nuga, scrabble featured as a scoring spot. That means um, it was not a good medal that was counting, a medal that was counting. So uh, the focal point really for us is how to grow the game at the local level. We intend to go into schools. A lot is happening already. In the, people are having school programs in different schools, so soon fuse them and have a league that will run in, hopefully like this. The Premier League for MGI Premier League is um, more like a, a, a league for Scrabble players in the country. You have in two divisions, Division A and Division B. Division A is categorized by those people that are in um, upper, intermediate and um, master's players. Division B is those persons that are in the lower, intermediate, opens, female category or veteran category. I've competed in so many places. I've competed in four African championships, Kenya twice, Zambia, South Africa, um, I've been to Malaysia. Scrabble is a mental game. It's not sweet. Yeah. So before now, for some years, I've been the only female that has been struggling. Even in the National Sports Festival now, we have the female category. But I compete with men in the Masters. But when it comes to the National Sports Festival, I find my level to the female level. Um, five, six, one will be reserved at every point in time five will play, why one will be on reserve. I think this is the first time we are having a league, a Scrabble league in, can I say the world, in the world. Hello and welcome on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Just to let you have a feel of the Scrabble, that sport is really a wonderful one. Mental game, if we call it that way. Just a good one coming to you live on Trust TV. Well, we just have to look at that. We'll be talking concerning Scrabble more, but quickly, let's roll the world of sports about uh, football. A lot of activity in the world of football over the weekend. We just have from the home scene where MPFL La Liga under 15 promises have actually come to an end over their stadium. That's Remo Stadium in the Kenelbu State. Remo Stars, they won the competition beating Shooting South of Ibadan 2 0 to lift the trophy. Right now, they are celebrating under 15 promises. Good uh, competition where the young lads of Remo Stars, they were able to win that particular game. Well, we have to look at uh, more of this story as I welcome uh, Emmanuel Fashimi. Good to have you, Emmanuel. Good morning, Adeni. Mm. Now, I was just talking about uh, the MPFL La Liga Under-15. Finally, it has come to an end and you have uh, winners now. Remo Stars, 
uh, they were able to do this convincingly. Two new against shooting stars of Ibadan. Uh, it's actually uh, a good um, event. Uh, it was exciting all through um, the two weeks the, this uh, championship actually went, uh, went on. Uh, the young lads actually proved themselves um, very, very well. Uh, we saw uh, exciting games, interesting uh, games. And uh, for Remo Stars and Shooting Stars, they were one of the best teams in the tournament. We saw other um, like, um, MPFL teams also coming with their under-15. But for Remo Stars, this is one team that uh, they, uh, they, they are a, a bit different from what we used to see in Nigeria. Uh, and I want to say uh, congratulations and kudos to the owner of that team. They have really put in a lot of work. And if you also see them in the uh, MPFL proper, I think Remo Stars is doing well in the league. So that is to tell you uh, how much of work they've really put in and what they've done so far. Uh, it's, it, it, from all indications, Remo Stars is going, uh, has come to stay. For me, Remo Star has come to stay. If they continue on this track, definitely Remo Star is going to uh, really stay in the Nigerian uh, Professional Football League for quite a long time if they don't just lose focus. If they don't just lose focus. Now, but if you look at this competition, Kano Pillars, Katsina, uh, United also played top place, although Katsina, they were able to win a top place, they defeated Kano, and for, for the, uh, the two giants that actually played the final, uh, it was like uh, uh, planned uh, matches because you have Serena Monsters and shooting stars from Southwest. We have Kano and Katsina from the North who actually filed out to play themselves in this competition. Well, uh, I think they are the best four teams so far in the competition. But I love the fact that they were able to bring together the young lads from different clubs that we have in the MPFA to come and prosecute these games. And we have, at least right now, I'm sure Coach uh, Mbadi will uh, be able to uh, see a lot of talents in this competition. Uh, quite a, a lot of talents in the competition, as you have rightly mentioned. If you look at the Remo Star team, I think uh, the, 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 the boys are actually young. Um, in them, I, 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 I saw um, not players who are of the age of uh, 15, who are up to 20 and the rest of them, but I think these guys are actually at the, the, the ages of 15, 16, they're about downward a bit. So uh, and it, 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 it's, it's good that um, at this point in time, which uh, last week, uh, last week, we had uh, Unduka Obade with about how many uh, pl uh, team players right there at uh, 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 Package B of the Moshu Dabiola uh, National Stadium trying to pick the best uh, legs that will prosecute the Under-17 uh, African Championship and then probably will qualify for the World Cup. And which uh, this tournament also is also a platform for him. I believe they must have sent some scouts. NFF have their scouts on ground since they are the organizer of the, the event with La Liga to pick these young players and for uh, for Remo Star who actually won the this competition I believe we have La Liga uh, uh, officials on ground to actually support these young ones that they could actually uh, take out of this country and give them that uh, proper exposure and then when they come back they become uh, they become firebrand for the eaglets of Nigeria so I'm happy the competition went well and I don't want them to stop this particular event it should be something we, we should keep doing and then probably who says we've dominated the under 17 uh, level for a long time good one there hopefully nigerian can just get the best of these players under 15 promises there where remo stars they were the champion and uh, they are celebrating right now we move away from the young ones to the big boys the mpfl proper where matches were also played match day 27 in the MPFL. Let's look at the result, the, uh, the result of the matches that was played across the country. 26 uh, goals were scored in match day 27 of the MPFL. Let's have the result of the table of the uh, table, uh, 27 rather. Now we have uh, Rangers. They were able to do well against Heartland 3-1. They won their game. But the biggest was uh, the, fight, the fact that uh, Rivers United won 5-0 against MFM. It was a big match uh, for Rivers as they won that game over the Port Harcourt 5-0. It ended and you have lobby stars, they pipped Katsina by two goals to one, Kano Pillars two, 
Accra United won, and you have Nasarawa defeating Plateau United, not a central derby. Although it happened in Jaws at the New Jaws Stadium, Nasarawa they were able to win there 2 1. Good one at least. <laughs> uh, for Nasarawa United, it's a funny one. That's their adopted home for now. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Plateau United, for who, the team that who owns the <laughs> who owns uh, the place, a team coming from our way to beat them. But although they have two stadiums in Jaws, that is Royal Palm Stadium, that is New Jaws mm -hmm. Stadium. Stadium. So they adopt New Jaws Stadium. Uh, all of so them just are, is just. just, is just. <laughs> so well, it's it's uh, it's a good one. I've always said this: the competitiveness in the MPFL this season uh, for me is top notch, and I love the response of Rivers United. Now they, they they responded very 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 well after that uh, defeat in the match day 26 to uh, Quara United and what they needed as a champion, as in somebody who wants to be champion. You respond by uh, by that nature. Walloping MFM FC 5 0 is not a fluke. And we know the highest goal scorer of this season, that is Ishak Rafio, is in uh, Rivers United. So it's to tell you that they know what they want. They, they, as in, they, they, they are, they've set their sight to get the MPFL trophy this season. And for me, I'm actually happy. And for Plateau United, well, uh, it's, 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 it's not the best of result they won at the, uh, at the end of the week because uh, they actually wanted to close this gap. Now they've, they've allowed uh, Rivers United to open um, a seven points uh, lead. Before it was four, four points, now it's now seven points with that loss. So uh, it, it gives room for Rivers United to keep working and see how they can win the league. But for Plato United, uh, I think uh, they should just put this defeat behind and then March the 28th, they respond very swiftly. Let's look at the fact that uh, Rivers United they were able to win that game five minutes against um, MFM are still making them top the uh, table there. They are really coasting home. I would just have to appreciate the fact that 26 goals were scored in the match day 27 of the Nigerian Professional Football League across Nigeria, where lots of talents actually abide. Good one there. We have to roll it up and move straight to talk about Wafu B under 20, where we have a Nigerian team, Flying Eagles. They were able to defeat Black Satellite of Ghana 2-0 in that game. Although a lot of people are calling it revenge. I don't see that as revenge because this is, <laughs> there's no way we compare uh, the revenge, the, the, the pain that we got from that Super Eagles to this one. So I don't know why they are calling it revenge, but really, it's good that we defeat the Ghana 2 0. Good one. The boys actually responded to what the Super League could not do. But the pain of not going to the World Cup is far, far a big one. It's far, far a big one than what uh, is happening there, right there in Miami, in Niger. But overall, it was a good performance for Landon Busso and his boys after what uh, really happened to him, the brief. But overall, uh, these guys have shown that because in the uh, warm up games they played here in Abuja and in, in, uh, they played against Niger, people were worried that they could not score goals. But right now, getting two goals in their first game against a black uh, starlet, it's, it's, it's good. Let's see how they can actually get this qualification because the main target is to qualify for Egypt 2023, which from there, they can get, if they, if they play very well, the four semi-finalists in Egypt qualify automatically to the youth uh, world um, the FIFA under 20 uh, World Cup which uh, that is what that is our target but first you have to beat what is said before you now the the flying goals need to get this uh, Wafu B tournament very very well get if they can't win the trophy get to the final that is automatic qualification and uh, they are the highest winner of the event nigeria has won it more than any other side there. so uh it's good that we start we are starting on a good note Good one. We're starting on a good note by defeating Ghana. We'll be facing Burkina Faso on Wednesday. Hopefully, we can also scoop that. Talking about the Flying Eagles of Nigeria winning their first game 2 0 over there in uh, Niamey, Niger Republic. Now, let's talk about some Nigerians over the weekend. Some are relegated, some actually happy. Well, let's we start with uh, uh, the man of the moment, Moses Simon. Simon, right now, celebrating with Nantes for the fact that they were able to win the Coupe de France. A uh, good one for Nantes and good one for Nigerian player. Although it's, it's as if uh, what most of them couldn't do for Eagles, <laughs> that's what they are doing with their clubs. Uh, look at Aribo uh, uh, Baloguan, who they, they won. They, uh, they, 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 they are now in the Europa League uh, final. 
<laughs> and then you look at uh, Moses Simon winning with the cup, celebrating. I, I imagine him lifting World Cup like this. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, 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 it's going to happen. It's going to happen, but it might not be his uh, his uh, era. But congratulations to Moses Simon and uh, the other uh, his compatriot. We still have another person who is celebrating in Europe. Uh, but before we go there, for Moses Simon, I think he has been brilliant with Nantes. He's uh, he has had eight assists this season for Nantes, six goals, and he stands number seven. And in in, in the French league, he this one players, uh, this one player that uh, has actually uh, uh, catch the eye of every team in uh, when they met with PSG. Messi actually uh, gave some uh, some encouraging words about Moses Simon, and that is a good one. If a star like Messi can talk about your your performance, uh, I think that is a plus for him. And he has actually been brilliant for this team. His effort so far this season has pushed Nantes to where they are. Even in the final, he, st he stood out like a million stars. After the, the, the final we saw, all the players rushed to him. That's to tell you his importance for the team and he has been brilliant for Nantes. I, 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 congratulations to him. I just want him to keep working and probably see if he can leave France and come to the English Premier League or probably go to German Bundesliga. You they look so happy with that cup. Uh, uh, that cup looks like tennis uh, players. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just to have some fun, jokes uh, in the studio. We have to quickly move away from uh, Moses Simon, who won the Coupe de France. Let's talk about another Nigeria who did well for his club. Zaidu Sanusi, he was among the players that did well for that club, but his goal made it possible. At least they were able uh, to <laughs> win that uh, competition, uh, that game rather. And now they've lifted the 38 cup. That shows that Porto this time around. Uh, it has already been Porto, Benfica, you know, and the rest. <laughs> uh, uh, the, 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 the sweet uh, victory for this uh, particular uh, last game of the season, as in uh, this game yesterday, was they won against another champion, that is Benfica. And for Zedu Sanusi, he has played 23 times for FC Porto this season with just three goals and one assist. And the third goal coming yesterday against Benfica. That's a good one. After the game, the same thing, everybody rushed to him. You were the person that scored the goal that made us to leave this uh, our title this season. And I'm happy for him. It's good that Nigerian players are winning league titles wherever they are. Yes. We still have a couple of others who have won, uh, who has not played for the Super Eagles. They are Nigerian players that have won. They won. They won. We have a player Slovakia. in Slovakia who won the title with, with uh, uh, Slava uh, uh, Tarana. But it's good that we have our players, as in contributing more to their clubs they play, and that is what uh, we are going to benefit in the Super Eagles. When you have players who are fit, who are playing week in week out in their respective club, any coach who is coaching uh, the, the national team. We'll be proud because you won't have the uh, you won't have that stress of okay which player do I pick? All you need to do is just select the best ones and they they, they give you results. Mm. Good one there, Zenu Zanusi winning the uh, Portuguese league with FC Porto, Moses Simon Coupe de France with Nantes, and why we are celebrate celebrating those uh, two players? We have about three or four Nigerian who also relegated with their team, Watford. Watford actually joined Norwich City uh, in relegation right now after that loss to Crystal Palace. But the most painful thing is the fact that we have Nigerians, uh, Emmanuel ba, Emmanuel Dennis, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, the Tebo is, is there. there, you have uh, Simon, uh, Samuel Kalu, Kalu is joining there. them. Dennis is there, uh, William Trusekon is there. And uh, they are expecting. Uh, uh, is not even there yet. Uh, but they are expecting. But in this squad, in this particular squad, they actually lost out back to relegation. So painful for some of who just joined them. Very, it's a painful one uh, because right now he must have been looking back. If I had known, I would have stayed in Bordeaux and not even uh, find a way of staying in Bordeaux in France. But injury was not really uh, helpful to him in France there. And then he joined Watford. Right now, Watford is uh, has joined Norwich to go uh, in the relegation uh, in the relegation water. They will play in, in the, the uh, their next season. They will play in the championship. But let's see how uh, they respond because. Uh, Roy Hossing has had a blistering career as a coach. This is the first time he will be going on relegation. So uh, if they can respond, 
they will be back to the EPL. Well, let's see if they will be coming back to the EPL where Watford Joy and Norwich there to go back to where they came from. That's football. We've been talking about some Nigerians who did well in Europe. Let's go on a short break. By the time we we'll return, uh, we'll have to at least unveil Scrabble. But at least earlier on, we gave you some clips concerning uh, Scrabble. Once, once again, let's have a feel of what happened at the Mind Game Scrabble Championship. <laughs> Oh wow, this uh, is a competition that started, I think this is the third season because it was uh, interrupted by the pandemic anyway, but this is the season number three for it. And uh, it's been a fantastic event uh, anchored by Mind Games Incorporated. Uh, it's just fashioned after the Football League uh, all over the world. This is the first of its kind all over the world, first Scrabble League that you can have in any country all over the world. Because you know, Nigeria is the best Scrabble playing nation in the world at the moment. And this league is supposed to gather the best of the best to f get into teams and clubs and also be able to own the skills and strategies together. We're going to have five match days. Um, match day one was in Lagos, match day two is here in Abuja. Match day three we hold in Benin City, and then match day four and match day five we hold in Lagos again. And that, that will be a gala event to be the end of the league for that season. That will, probably, that will take place in October. And for, for me as my vice president, one of the focal points of, of our board well, we just have to look at uh, Scrabble. That's why we have uh, Anthony Edith here, a Scrabble player who played for D Warriors at the Mind Game uh, competition. That's the Premier League. The way you have it in football, we also have it in Scrabble. Good to have you, Anthony Edith. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, quickly, just uh, give us a wrap of this particular competition. Well, uh, Mind Game is a very uh, interesting innovation that uh, has been brought into uh, the Scrabble game by. Uh, uh, one of the pioneers of uh, Scrabble, uh, Lukman or Wallaby. Uh, the game is going to be played in four different centers. Mm -hmm. Each of the centers uh, has a match day. Uh, the first was in Lagos. Uh, we just finished the match day two uh, here in Abuja. Match day three will be in uh, Benin City and then to be wrapped up in a grand finale back in Lagos. And uh, a cumulative of all the games played, uh, winners uh, would emerge. Uh, just like in the Premiership, you have some clubs promoted. There are two divisions, uh, uh, Division A or Group A and uh, the second uh, Group B. So as uh, you, uh, teams would drop from Group A uh, down to Group B, while some will be promoted from Group B to Group A. And uh, I think it's, it's a very good thing to happen to Scrabble. And uh, that's why you find that the creme de la creme in Scrabble, you find them in the Scrabble League. Okay, now, like I said earlier, you have two divisions. You yes. have Premier League, you yes. have uh, Division B or Division 2. Or division the... A and okay. Division B, B, or you can say so Division do, 1 it, or do 2. Do you have relegation? Yes, you have relegations, just like <laughs> I said. Uh, you have uh, the, bottom, uh, the bottom two in the uh, Masters or the Division A category would drop and uh, play for play this, the lower division where uh, the best i think the best two would also be promoted to play uh, in the upper division but currently nigeria is uh, among the best when it comes to scrabble in the world uh, nigeria is not just among the best nigeria is the best scrabble nation in the whole wide world seriously yes and i learned that uh, that if that particular uh, uh, scrabble competition is that the only one in the whole world? Yes, it's one of the innovations Nigeria has brought to Scrabble globally. And in fact, that, that, uh, what you had there uh, was streamed all over the world. Hmm. In fact, uh, a Twitch channel was uh, dedicated to covering the, what we call Table 1. Table 1 is where you have the best player play on in every round. About 12 rounds played. Hmm. So at every round, the best uh, uh, the highest the player with the highest rating score, or score yes. plays on table one. 
and that game was uh, streamed live for for people to for see people throughout to see. the world. Yeah, and it was I think hosted by one of the one very good player and a, a, a Twitch channel a handler, uh, Will Anderson, from good all one. the way from US. So we've been talking concerning. Uh, Scrabble, the sport is really gaining momentum. The way you have it in football, you have Premier League, the same way it is in Scrabble. It was just done on Saturday here in Abuja. Uh, the, third, uh, the day three will be coming on in Benin. And the good thing is that we have over 70, 100 players, uh, professionals in this particular sport. That's why we brought uh, Anthony Ed there to give us insight to that particular competition. Good to have you, Anthony. Our time Thank is up. Thank just you have very, to go now. Thank, Thank you, very, you much. very much. It's a pleasure. Yes, we know that sport is always very juicy and scintillating, but time is not only on our side. We have to go now. I am Adini Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.